In this video, I'm going to explain linear inequalities in graphing. Let's see how to graph a linear inequality. Our first step is to plot points like a linear equation. So let's say I give you the equation y is less than 3x minus 1. For a second, if we're plotting points like a linear equation, we would plug in a value for x and solve for y and then put that point on our coordinate system. So let's pretend that this says y equals 3x minus 1. So let's start with the point x equals 0. When x is 0, that means y is going to be 3 times 0 minus 1. So y is going to be negative 1. So we're at the point 0, negative 1. Now let's do one more point. Let's do when x is equal to 1. When x equals 1, y is going to be 3 times 1 minus 1, which is going to be 3 minus 1, which is 2. So now we're at the point 1, 2. So now we finish step 1, which is plotting the points like a linear equation. Step two is to decide the type of line to connect the points with. If it's greater than or less than, you're going to use a dotted line. Otherwise, the line is solid. So if it's greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, or equal to, which is just a regular linear equation, we're going to use a solid line. In this case, we're looking at y is less than three, so we're going to connect the points with a dotted or dashed line. This is used to show that any of the points that fall on this line are not part of the inequality. So drawing my straight line through and it extends out further. So step two, we decided the type of line to connect the points with. Now, lastly, we have step three. And step three says to shade in the proper region. We're either going to shade in to the left of the line or we're going to shade in to the right of the line and that will be what the graph of an inequality looks like. So how do we figure out what side we're going to shade? Well, pick a test point. So pick a random point that's either on the left side or the right side and plug it in. If it holds true, then you shade in that region. If it does not hold true, you shade in the opposite region. So let's look at the point negative one, one. So we're gonna look at that point right there. So our y is one, so one is less than three times our x value is negative one minus one. So all I did was take these points and plug them in for x and y in the original inequality. So now we have that 1 is less than 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 minus 1 is going to give us that 1 is less than negative 4. And we know that 1 is not less than negative 4, so we would shade in the opposite side because this point is not included in the equation. So this side will get shaded in. Let's pick a test point to make sure we did it correctly. Looking at our graph, our shaded region is what makes the inequality true. So our shaded region contains and holds all the values that we can plug into x and get the correct y. So to make sure that this is correct, we just need to pick one of those points in the shaded region and test. But remember, we cannot pick a point that lies on the dotted line because that is not part of our inequality. Now let's pick the point 5, 0. If we pick that point, our 0 is y, and it's going to be less than 3 times 5 minus 1. 3 times 5 is 15. 15 minus 1 is 14, and 0 is less than 14, so that checks. 
say that I give you the equation that y is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds x plus 1. Well, to start, we're going to plot points like a linear equation. So pretend that greater than or equal to sign is an equal sign. So let's plug in a 0 in for x. Plugging 0 in for x will leave us with negative 2 thirds times 0 plus 1. Negative 2 over 3 times 0 is 0 plus 1 is 1. So that's going to leave us with x is 0 and y is 1, so the point 0, 1. Now let's plug in a 3. So if x is 3, we're going to have that negative 2 thirds times 3 plus 1 equals y. Well, negative 2 thirds times 3 is going to be negative 2 because our 3's would cancel out. So negative 2 plus 1 is going to be a negative 1. So now we're going to be at the point 3, negative 1. Now step 1 is complete. We plotted points like a linear equation. Now step 2 is decide the type of line to connect the points with. Well, we know that this is a greater than or equal to, so the line is going to be solid. So any point that falls on this solid line will be true for our inequality. Now our last step is to shade in the proper region. And for shading in the proper region, we're going to need a test point. So let's test the point 0, 0. If we plug a 0 in for y, we're going to have that 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds times 0 plus 1. That's going to leave us with 0 is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds times 0 is 0. And then add the 1, so 0 is greater than or equal to 1. And we know that this is not true, so we're going to shade in the opposite region. Now let's double check this. We can see on here that the point 0, 3 falls within the region. So let's double check that. If we plug a 0 in for x, we're going to get that y is greater than or equal to negative 2 thirds times 0 plus 1. That's going to leave us with 3 is greater than or equal to 1, which is true.